So the next step for the extension is going to be putting insulation in it. I'll be putting styrofoam insulation in all these panels and then I'll be covering it with cedar to match the inside of the truck. I just put a little constructive adhesive on the styrofoam. I'm going to do that on all the pieces. Obviously it'll be falling down if I don't, and then uh, it'll just be frustrating. So glue those all on there, and then I'm gonna put the cedar on. Okay, so far so good. I've got the doors insulated and some of the inside insulated. I ran out of uh, insulation, so I'm gonna have to go back and get some more. I was going to cut out vents in the doors, but that's on hold. I have two windows on each side of the cap and a third window at the back of the cap. That might be enough ventilation that I don't need vents at the back of this extension. We'll see when I try it out first and I can always cut the vents out later. So when I was framing this, I forgot to put a second stud here. I just had the corner one and I wasn't going to have anything to nail the cedar onto this side. So I just put this here. There's a gap in between here so that uh, when I cut the cedar, it'll fit onto that. And it'll be, it'll be against there for support. Give it some stability and nail it onto there. And then when I screw on these pieces of cedar, I have that and that to nail it onto. Because I'm going to be screwing this pretty much close to the edge of the cedar, I don't want the screws to actually crack the wood. That'll bother me. So what I'm going to do is pre-drill the holes. And it's just a little tip that uh, when you're putting screws in near the end of your board, um, if you just put the screw in, the chances are, especially with cedar, you're going to pop the wood and you're going to, you're going to split it. So one of the things I have to figure out is when the extension pulls out onto the tailgate, what exactly is it going to sit on and how is it going to line up with the plywood inside the bed. The tailgate has one of those flip up handrails and drop down step which is great but the tailgate's not perfectly flat, it's got a couple of bubbles in it and it makes the plywood kind of wiggle around so I have to come up with something that will give me a nice flat surface so that the extension doesn't rock around on top of the tailgate and I would ideally like it to fit flush to the plywood inside there so it's a nice, nice tight seal and I haven't figured out what I'm going to use for the floor but I want something maybe a remnant uh, industrial sort of vinyl flooring that I can roll out and ideally it would roll out over here so that uh, when I was sweeping up or cleaning up all the debris would just kind of come out so in a perfect world I can find something like that. It's actually turned out to be a very thick door. Got two hinges here that seem to be pretty sturdy. But basically you have a two by two frame with styrofoam insulation in between, sandwich between piece of plywood on the outside, cedar fence board on the inside. So a whole camper extension is going to be this sort of uh, setup with plywood, styrofoam insulation, and then cedar on the inside. So. I think when it's all said and done, it's going to be uh, fairly well insulated and it's going to be nice and warm in the winter time and 
It'll keep up the heat in the summertime. I love the look of it though. Love the look of cedar. Just like cutting the plywood, the challenging part on the corners here is gonna be cutting these odd angles. So I still have some foam board from when I originally built the exterior of it. So to cut some of the smaller pieces I'm using my compound miter saw, all that means is you got an angle this way and an angle that way as well. So it just makes for a better fit in the corner. So the inside cedar is coming along nicely. I have a few more panels to put in. Um, a few tricky pieces to cut. This here will be a little tricky. And then a few slices along the bottom. And once I have it weather sealed, I think it's going to be a nice uh, tight fit. It's gonna work really well. I need to take my table saw out now and rip some small pieces, different angles. So that finishes up the extension, except for the floor. It's completely coated in cedar on the interior, insulated throughout in the hollow core with styrofoam insulation, and finished on the exterior with plywood. The plywood only has a base coat of paint on it. What I'm gonna do for the exterior is coat it in another few layers of paint, coat it then with a kind of marine grade um, varathane, and that'll give it a uh, fairly decent um, weatherproof finish. And then I have some weather stripping I'm going to finish on the cracks uh, where the door is open and that sort of thing. So that'll make it as weatherproof as possible. So if you enjoyed this build and you think this is something you might do for your own pickup truck, Make sure you subscribe so you can see how I finish the inside of the bed of my pickup truck and match it with the cedar finish and some cedar um, shelving and storage. And again, it's all going to be modular so I can take it out of my truck, stack it up in my garage because I use my truck for a lot of different things. So it's really important for me to have that sort of flexibility. Hope you like the build. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Cheers.